All right, it was reported late this afternoon that Rooster's young gun, Joseph Sawali, has been given the all-clear to play in the top grade. Tell me, how and why was this decision made? Oh, it was made because the Roosters put a very professional application to the NRL and... Which included the, what? Well, it included um, high school interviews with his headmaster, a study plan for his high school certificate this year, a sports science plan on his body definition. Uh, everyone heard him speak and, you know, while he was raw in those interviews at, a couple of weeks ago, I think it's pretty obvious that you know, he's ready. I thought he was ready. Does it set a precedent? Well, other clubs are going to have to do what the Roosters are, find a kid that good for start, and then do a slick presentation like they have. I, I don't have a problem. I think it's a great thing for Rugby League. Yeah. What, 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 why is it a great thing for Rugby League? Well, I think if he wasn't able to play Rugby League this year, there was a very real chance he might have gone to Rugby Union. And I'll, I'll tell you why, too, because Rugby League's about stars, and he's got to be a star. He, he has got it all in front of him, Ben. Look, no one's a guarantee, but he's got so much going for him. I was against it when I first heard it. I think if you bring a rule in, the rule's there. I, I'm not all for exemptions. I actually think it should be the other way. I think everyone should be allowed to play, and the NRL should have the ability to come in over the top and say, no, this kid's not ready. The other way. But, I, I, Ben, I went through, since 1980, all the kids that have come through and played at 17 and 16, I'm not going to go through every one of them, mm. but there's only about... Uh, Five misses, but you've got Tomalolo, Wade Graham, Mitch Pearce, Israel Folau, Chris Lawrence, Carmichael Hunt, Justin Hodges, Mark O'Malley, Luke mm. Burke, Lance Thompson, all the way back, Laurie Daly, Andrew Eddinghouse, since 1980. There's very few who have, who have, whose lives have exploded because they came through in rugby league at 17 years old. So ben, this maturity thing, I don't, I can't follow the argument. This is a teenager who, when he trained with South Sydney last summer, was so impressive that some of South seasoned NRL players were saying he could have played NRL last year if he'd been eligible. So it's not a matter of if, it was only going to be a matter of when. He gets his opportunity. Everything we've seen of him so far looks absolute class. And his physicality is something that yeah. has stood out for somebody mm. who is still only but 17 this, years old. This, to the majority of fans, like feels like the Roosters have got away with another one. Well, I mean, there's part of me that can't... But he, you know, but think this get... was arbitrary. But Where? you know he was no, going to no, play Because there South. was a rule in place. Now, has the rule changed, or does it mean now that every club has to but apply the, for the an exemption? I've got to disagree with you on that one. And the reason is because when he was at South Sydney, yeah. he received correspondence from the NRL, which said, in all likelihood, if he remains at your club, he will be granted an exemption to make his debut before his 18th birthday because of our special so we have heard that this young man is. It so remains, it's got nothing to do with the it, rem it remains a process whereby you have to apply for an exemption. An yes. So 18 is still the rule. Yes. yes. Now, Ben, you, you talk about breaking this rule. They broke a rule last year for Sonny Bill Williams. But it was a smart rule to break when you got a player of his... Do you know what I mean? Which also I don't, benefit the Roosters. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, well... Well, they're on the same thing. No, no, but yeah. I, I think the game has missed discretion and having hard and fast black and white rules in the past. And I honestly think Suwali could have been lost to the game. And, and to your point, Ben, about arbitrary rules... Bringing in the 18 rule was an arbitrary rule. Because as but this they still brought it in. Yeah, I know that. But so it, it feels but, like but policy this, on the run to yeah, me. Yeah, no, but as this, list sh mm. as this list shows, there's not a lot of misses for 17-year-olds if they're good so enough. So then why did they bring the rule in? Because the dopes who were running the game. No, yeah. well, no, no, it was, it was, it was Shane Richardson did it. Shane Richardson was hired after he quit South originally by the NRL to come up with a structure and a strategy and a plan to take rugby league forward, junior development, all that. This was his rule. And, and I dare say, the people running the game back then didn't look at this list. Ne next question. We'll move this on. For all the fanfare around Joseph Sawali, will he even play in our rule this year? I mean, did you see the yeah. Roosters go around on the weekend? <laughs> Have you had a glimpse at that back Yeah, line? Ben, it's a 26-week season, as you know, and they will have injuries. They will have origin to contend with. I spoke to Trent Robinson this afternoon. I know you have two hoops. He is happy to have cleared the first hurdle and have him available for selection. He's in absolutely no rush and is not even thinking about a date or a time for his debut. They play South in round three. Obviously too much hype and his mm. former club, that's out of control. That's 
That won't happen. Round six, a monster game against Storm. Round seven, Anzac Day. I, Robbo said to me a month or two. So I would be looking at... Don't give him a soft entry. Yeah, they'll, that's they'll, you. They'll, they'll give him a soft entry yeah. where it's a game they're expected to win, where one, you know, one of the Morris twins, for example, will get rested for the week and just slip him in, give him a run, put him back to reserve grade and just bring him through. There's even no rush. Barring an injury, Ben, they've probably already got a game circled on the calendar. And it yeah, won't be right. one of those blockbusters that Buzz has just outlined. I think in all likelihood, some other young guns that we're going to see earlier than that as a result of the big injury toll at the Sydney Roosters. Sam Walker's a chance of getting named on the bench uh, for this week. They play the the West Tigers. (laughs) Uh, Egan Butcher is another young bloke who may well make his debut, I would suggest, because Angus Crichton uh, is out suspended. So they have got some injuries to contend with. I will declare an interest. Actually, it's a partial interest for you as well. We're old North Sydney Bears. (laughs) <laughs> Walker and Sawali are both playing from yes. Sydney. Oh, yeah. It's yes. 100 years this year since the Bears' first premiership. Yes, it is. About 100 it? years since their first... Next year's 100 years since yeah. their last premiership. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 look, we're, yeah, yeah. we're in a rich patch right now for yeah. the Bears. 